All right, Leslie, under Austin Buner's reign as LAUSD superintendent, graduation rates reached an all-time high. Scores increased on state tests in math and English, and suspension rates dropped to an all-time low. But perhaps one of the greatest tests for Buettner would come when COVID-19 brought the world to a screeching halt. His quick and bold decision to close school campuses back on March 13th of last year saved lives. And now students and teachers are back in school with what he says is the highest standard of safety of any school district and the nation. So why is he leaving and what's next? You know, I want to start with the people who do the work, trying to understand do they have the tools they need. You know, I took this job three years ago. Uh, it's been 30 years in dog years. So a lot has happened since your first day to where we are now. I mean, even COVID, this is the first pandemic for you. LA Unified Schools are closing on Monday. We're now at a point where the balance has shifted and the appropriate path is to close schools. Can you talk about, you know, what you've experienced, what you've learned? First, we struggled from adequacy of funding. We've been advocating at the national level, the local level, the state level for what we've called the Marshall Plan in schools so that we have sufficient funding to provide more teachers in schools. We've accomplished that. We had to rebuild trust with those who work in schools and that sense of collaboration because the work is done in the classroom. And we had to prove to the community that we would stand tall for them when it was needed. So we made sure half a million kids had a computer and internet access to stay connected and continue learning. And so we've had to extend ourselves and recognize whatever that child needs, that family needs, we're gonna find a way to solve their problem as best we can. What it appears that you're needed most, why leave now? Because I think we're leaving it in a good place. We've accomplished a lot over these three years. For me, it's been seven day weeks, 15 hour days, and I think it's a good time to transition to the next. So it's not a case of where you're burned out. You just feel like, okay, you know what? I've done what I was supposed to do. Now it's time to let someone else take charge. We've righted the ship. We're headed in a good direction. We've got a great leadership team in place internally who can continue the work. I've worked in Miami, New York, Los Angeles, uh, Atlanta, so many places. I have never seen a superintendent as active as you. Look at that. What this is about is children, the future of our community, and I'll do anything I can to make sure that child has a brighter future. This is not a normal school day, and that UTLA is on strike. And to those who don't like you or may have misunderstood you or didn't agree, didn't always agree with what you did. If you're looking for perfection, you found the wrong person. We're making it better each and every day, and that's a process. Martin Luther King used to say, bend the arc, bend the arc towards justice. That's what we're doing. We're bending the arc towards better for students. It's years and years and decades of neglect that we see in public schools. Any regrets? Uh, you know, I wish looking back, that we would have done more to tell our story. There are fantastic things happening in schools throughout the communities we serve. Two-fold question. How do you want to be remembered and how do you think you will be remembered? I want to be remembered as someone who cared, who was willing to roll up their sleeves, do the work and try to make a difference. How will I be remembered? You know, time will be the guide. What's next? I'm sure you're not going to answer this question, but I got to ask you, what's next? You know, I'm committed to run through the tape. My last day is June 30th. I'll be working up till midnight on June 30th. Have we seen the best of Austin Buechner? No, I think there's more to come. And if we all roll up our sleeves, focus on solving some of the problems we face as a society, starting with public education, it'll be a better place. Uh-huh, and don't miss part two of my special one-on-one -on -one interview with Austin Butner tomorrow at 6 a.m. right here on CBS 2 News this morning. He has an organization that he founded that actually helps kids across the nation uh, wow. and a, a ton of underserved communities, so I can't wait to share that story. But what's next? I tried to get it out of him. Yeah. A lot of people have been saying, is he going to run for mayor or what is he going to oh, do? But I, I think he's got something up his sleeve there. I, I don't think he's going to go away. Do you think he'll soon. stay in L.A.? Of course, of course. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. But he's saying seven-day work 
work weeks, yeah. 15 hours mm -hmm. a day. That's real. He Teachers, never slept. Yeah. He Teachers did say, that, yeah, so. he did say that after, you know, he finishes up on June 30th, he was going to cook his daughter breakfast. Oh. He's going to go for a walk with his wife <laughs> on the beach, relax. read a book, yeah. and then Come he's going to get back to work. Okay. So, yeah, he doesn't know how to chill. Austin, <laughs> learn how to relax. <laughs> enjoy it. But again, we'll have much more on this oh. story tomorrow. I know. He said he's going to work up until midnight on mm -hmm. June 30th. I believe it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too.